So you just built a new PC, or maybe you're moving some fans or your cooler around and you run into this error when you first try to boot into Windows. Sometimes it might even say no CPU fan detected at all. Well, this really isn't a problem, but don't worry. This is incredibly easy and quick to fix. First thing we'll need to do is go ahead and hit F1 to run setup, which is BIOS. Now obviously you can tell by the fact that it's 27 degrees, and the fact that we do actually have fans down here spinning, which is my cooler, that we actually do have a cooler hooked up. It's just not hooked up to the one that says CPU fan, and that's why we're getting that error. Now the specific motherboard that I'm using for this is the Asus TUF B450 Plus 2, but pretty much any modern Asus board is going to be identical step by step. In other manufacturers, you should be able to do this as well in their monitor, it's just going to look slightly different. However, there still are motherboards out there today that will not fire up without something plugged into the CPU fan header, and those usually tend to be the more low-end ones. But anyways, the first thing we need to do is make sure we're in advanced mode, and on Asus mother the boards we can do that by clicking right down here once we're in monitor go down here to CPU fan speed and just change it to ignore and that's literally all you got to do just click exit save changes and reset and once you've done that the error should go away and you'll boot into Windows just fine and if the error doesn't go away after that then you for sure have a defective motherboard on your hands and that's it for this one guys hope you found it helpful and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips benchmarks and build videos and more until next time game on and be easy